Everyone, welcome to the show. So Donald Trump ally John Eastman is currently fighting to retain his law license. Eastman, as you guys all know, was the author of that infamous coup memo that laid out the step-by-step -step plan on how to overturn the 2020 election. Well, after reviewing Eastman's emails, a California judge said that it was more likely than not, that was a direct quote, that Eastman and Trump committed federal crimes. The judge also said that Eastman's plan was like a coup in search of a legal theory. So Eastman was referred to the state bar for punishment and he's facing 11 counts of ethics violations, which include misleading the courts and making false public statements about voter fraud. Eastman's disciplinary hearing began yesterday and the state prosecutor, or one of them, said that Eastman's plan was, quote, completely unsupported by historical precedent or law and contrary to our values as a nation. Um, they also called Eastman out for encouraging Georgia state legislators to certify a win for Trump, even though he lost that state. And Eastman testified for two hours in the first day of the trial. Um, he and his attorney are basically arguing that, oh, well, this was all in the up and up because Eastman fully believed all of this BS that he was shoveling. Um, he also tried to call a witness and it got quickly shot down by the bar attorneys. Eastman tried to call someone named Brian Geals to the stand. This was supposedly his expert quote unquote witness. And according to Eastman, Geals could verify much of the so-called voter fraud that he was speaking of and that he used as the basis to try to help Trump overturn the election. The problem is Geals is an accountant. He has zero experience or education or training in elections or statistics or anything related. So, you know, this is kind of like Trump using the advice of a non-attorney, of someone who's trained or educated in English. I mean, <laughs> so the bar attorneys looked at this. They they heard what he had to say, who this guy was, and they're like, mm, no, thanks. <laughs> Basically, they said, like, if you have an actual expert to bring before us, great. Otherwise, we're not interested in your fairy tales. So the trial is expected to last at least one week and both sides are slated to call numerous witnesses. Um, but the ultimate decision about whether or not Eastman gets to retain his license and, and or what his punishment might be will be made by the California Supreme Court. So I will definitely keep you guys posted over the course of this trial. Um, I also wanted to mention though, Jeffrey Clark is also facing a disciplinary trial for his part in Trump's alleged, uh, you know, a, a attempted coup. Uh, Clark, you guys will remember, he was a Justice Department attorney. He specializes, again, in something totally unrelated, environmental law. And Trump was trying to install him as the attorney general in the final weeks of his presidency so that he could overturn the election. Um, he's the one who drafted and sent out bogus letters to various states. He erroneously claimed in these letters that the election results were in question. So he's in the hot seat. I mean, everybody, everyone who got involved in this is at risk. They have Trump to thank for that. So I will let you know. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you possibly can. It really helps. Love you guys. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.